In this video, I'm going to show you what happens when you don't glue things properly. And I say glue, but it's solvent welding. When you don't make sure that it's done good and done right, this is what happens. Kelly Staggs here, American Irrigator, trying to make you a better irrigator. Consider subscribing. That way you don't miss any kind of irrigation tips we have to offer. Let me show you something. I got called over here to a, uh, a leak and I was digging this up and I, let me zoom down in here. Let's see if I can get down in here. And this is what I found and this is a repair work job over here that I, and I can see why they did what they did and uh, I'm not too upset about that part except for that this fitting has blown apart. And you know why it's blown apart? And you can kind of see it really wasn't primed all that good and it was not hardly welded at all uh, when you when you use this kind of solvent welding it actually fuses the pipes together and you can see a little bit of this weld right here and I should probably I'll, I'll show you a little bit better when I cut this out but this fitting had blown apart and you can see it was, I mean, it, it, would, it didn't break or anything. It was, it was all the way up to here, but it just wasn't fused good. And it wasn't fused good because it really, it really wasn't uh, welded properly. It wasn't glued properly, if you want to say that. The glue might have been bad. That might have been why. This might have been under a little bit of a bind. And so sometimes when you put them on a bind, they don't fuse good. It ends up blowing apart when you've got a pressure spike or something like that. But for whatever reason, this blew apart. And we're going to get it fixed, but I wanted to show you this. This is what happens when things aren't welded properly. When these pipes aren't fused properly because it wasn't installed right, or this repair wasn't done right, this is what happens. And so if you're a repair guy or doing this at your house, you want to make sure that you use good primer. You get it on both sides. You want to do that right. And then you want to make sure you get a good amount of that solvent weld on there because that's what's going to cause that chemical reaction and actually fuse these pipes together. If you don't do it right, your fittings will tend to blow apart like they have on this one.